Hey guys, and welcome to my messy house. Um, I had no intentions on a vlogging today, but I just got finished with work. It's about 2.30, it's Monday. So I figured I'd pick up the camera because I am trying to get Kyler to take a bottle, which is quite a task. Let me just show you. Huh, so we have a Tommy, Tip Tommy Tippy bottle right here, and I'm trying to get this little boy to take one, and he does not want to take one at all. You want to take it? You want to show them how you take it? Go ahead and show them. Go show them what you do. He does not want this at all. He's kind of taking, like he wants to, but he's just not sure. And this might be, no. And like if I put it next to his hands, what should he do? He's trying to put it up to his mouth. Huh? You want to show them what you were doing? Go ahead, show them what you were doing. He's trying. Like, he kind of gets it. He's getting frustrated, though, huh, buddy? You want to try it? <laughs> You're not liking that. No. You want to hold it? You want to hold it? So today and the past couple of days, I feel like I haven't been producing as much milk as I usually am. And right now, specifically, he was having a hard time um, getting any milk. He was getting really frustrated. So I was like, all right, I'm going to try making him a bottle and see how that goes. And we are struggling. He does not want to take a bottle at all. And it's so strange to me because Aubrey and Asher, like Kyler is the longest I've ever breastfed. Um, Aubrey and Asher never had a problem with any bottle. Like I had the P Avent, the Playtex, the Tommy Tippy, the Dr. Brown. They took all of them. And it was easy. As soon as I gave him a bottle, they knew what to do, and they took a bottle. Kyler acts like you are choking him. He looks at you like, what is this thing that you're trying to give me? Just w wants nothing to do with it. And it's hard because with Justin's dad's funeral, my mom had to watch Kyler um, during the burial, and she had a hard time getting him to take a bottle. Like, he would not take one. And I went out with my girlfriends the other day, and Justin had a hard time. And then, just like, you know, if I want to go out and do something, it's really hard to um, get him to take a bottle. So I'm trying to, like, get him used to taking a bottle because, um, especially because my supply is getting low, and I'm not sure why. I have a um, thyroid problem. Actually, I had a thyroidectomy five years ago. So, um, I know that it has a lot to do with my, my levels and if they're not like at a certain, like at a certain level, then my milk supply gets messed up. But yeah, so I think that that might be why my milk's down. I'm not sure, but I'm really trying hard to get him to take milk and he is not wanting it at all. And I'm so not used to this. Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead and try. I just tried the Dr. Browns. I've tried the Playtex and now we're just trying the Tommy Tippy. What do you think? What do you think? Wanna try one more time? You wanna show them what you're gonna do? Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna try pumping, but and maybe that's why he's making that face because this is formula. But I still feel like he's not going to. And it's hard for me to pump because I'm not getting anything either. So it's just we're we're at a predicament here, huh? We're at a predicament. Alright, let's try this one. This is the playtex. Let's see how this one goes. And this is slow too. So we'll see. You want that one? Yeah. This is gonna be a process. You wanna hold it? You wanna try it yourself? We took a break from bottle feeding. I'm actually going to go ahead and give him his first food today. Normally I would do that for like a breakfast, but um, we're gonna try this evening. We'll see how that goes. Today is a stressful day because my house is looking like a disaster. And he is just so fussy right now because he is hungry or tired, I'm not sure. He's not taking the bottle and he's trying to breastfeed and he's not getting anything. So he's like a little cranky. But yeah, that, that's how my day is going so far. And it's only three o'clock and Justin won't be home until later. So um, yeah, hopefully he falls asleep soon. You okay, buddy? You getting stressed? Oh, so I just changed him because he was all wet from drinking the formula. I know. I was just going over to grab my wrap so I could put him in there and see if I could carry him around to get him to fall asleep.
to wash. I brought my entire collection of bottles and then I have like all this stuff too. So I have all this to wash and um, and then my island. And then I still have groceries from yesterday to put away. And then my island looks like this because, let's see here. This is the kids toys that they kind of just put up here. I have his carrier, Aubrey's lunchbox. This is my pump and then um, my diaper bag. And I have shoes to put away, but yeah, that's the house situation. But yeah, so he fell asleep. So at least I can get some things done. He is also sleeping. Yeah. He was pulling it back when I was trying to get Jake up to sleep him. Yeah, we're gonna watch some cartoons and relax for a little bit. Clean up, mommy's gonna clean up the house. Before you know it, I'll be starting dinner. I still need to get my Valentine's Day stuff done. But um, Asher, last night, I was editing a video and I didn't get done editing my video until around 11. So I came upstairs and he was sitting in his bed, wide awake, just wide awake, playing on his Kindle. I was like, oh my goodness. And normally Justin like takes it off of him and has him go to bed, but he was so tired that he fell asleep. So Asher was like, all right, I'm just gonna hang out and play on my Kindle. So he was up until 11. I took the Kindle off of him and then he went to bed and he woke up around 7.30, so I figured he'd be tired. So yeah, he's probably gonna take a nice long nap. And then Kyler's taking a nap. Aubrey will just entertain herself and watch some cartoons and play and probably help me out if I need her to. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up the house for a little bit and then I'm gonna start dinner. I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh Watch me break in your sweet You're falling into me, touch me I swear You would do anything that I want So keep us awake to the dark Hi, did you have a good little nap? You want your pinky back? Say, I got an hour Say, I slept for an hour Mommy was able to clean the playroom And kind of clean off the kitchen I started cleaning up there's a bunch of junk back here and kind of like cleaning off the table. Didn't get to that, but that's okay. I take the hour. That was a good hour, huh? And now we're awake. Aubrey is coloring. You want a coloring book? So she got this from her grandma, and this is supposed to be for the airplane. But yeah, well, we'll this it comes with this paper, so we'll save the paper for the airplane. But this is nice though, because she loves to color. Yeah, so she's gonna color a coloring book though, but basically what we have here right here but it's all like in here so you can travel with it so that would be nice for the airplane but yeah she's gonna color for a little bit ash is still sleeping i'm gonna see how much more i can get done huh you gonna hang out for a little bit more you're in a good mood now are you in a good mood now maybe kind of hmm? so yeah we'll see what we can get done i actually also was able to get all of the Valentine's Day decorations down as well and I put those here so when I um, Justin brings the box up I'll put those all away so yeah got a lot done all right so it is a little bit later in the day Justin's actually on his way home from work I started dinner Kyler actually ended up going back to sleep and he has been sleeping ever since so that is awesome because the meal that I'm making is kind of like involved so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm making it's like a garlic steak with um butter and like all kinds of seasonings and then I have these potatoes which I'm gonna add those back into here and then I have some green beans but this smells amazing I cannot wait to try it this little buddy boy's awake you get the butter he says I want to help you but um this is cooking up you gonna help me with some butter mommy kind of pretty much got everything put away hmm what are you gonna do 
He loves helping in the kitchen. That actually was what got him in a good mood because he woke up in a really bad mood just now until we saw that I was doing all this and then he got excited. So We actually don't need any butter. Maybe we'll put a little bit here. How about you do this? Do you want to take this butter knife and cut a little piece of it and we could put it in with the green beans? I'll take this away. Just cut a little piece. We'll cut just a little piece. You know what a little piece means? We'll cut that like that. And then we'll put that in with the green beans. You want to do that? Okay. We put it in here. Mmm, how's that? I want one. You want some? You're such a turd. Oh, goodness. The things that you, like, sacrifice as a parent, you let your kids do, just so, like, you can, like, keep things moving and, like, get stuff done so nothing burns. Like, I'm just, like, gonna let him cut up some butter. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? Or am I the only one who just like says, whatever, just have at it, kid. I just woke up from the longest nap ever. Oh, you all refreshed? But I think I'm actually going to feed him for the first time. He needs to start eating a week before he turns four months. So I think we're gonna attempt it now just because we're gonna be at Disney soon. And I just wanna get that all under wrap before we go to Disney, so. We are going to attempt to give him some oatmeal. I'm gonna put some pears in it. And I know everybody does this differently. A lot of people say um, they start with the oatmeal and just the formula or the breast milk. And they do that in the morning. That is how I did it with Aubrey. But to me, that did nothing. It was just like liquid on a spoon. And then I eventually ended up adding fruit to the oatmeal. And then people say you should always start with a vegetable first, which I never did. Well, actually, no, I did with Aubrey, and she, none of my kids like the vegetables. I'm gonna attempt them. But today, we are giving Kyler his first food, which will be pears, and I'm gonna mix some oatmeal in with that as well. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna feed him first, and then I'll go ahead and attempt the actual baby food. So we'll see how that goes. Aubrey's really excited to feed him. It's probably gonna be a mess, but yeah, you wanna go eat some pears? Yeah, you're so tired. He's a little out of it, huh? He's coming in his seat. Big boy seat, this bib is humongous on you, buddy. Huh? You ready? You ready? Try this out, huh? You ready, buddy boy? He's such a big boy. Ready to eat? No. Like, Are you ready to eat? Are you ready to eat? Are you ready to eat? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. so, ew, that's so gross. Alright, ready? Cat in your mouth. <clears throat> Alright, here cat, we go. Ready? Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Maybe I should make it a little bit smaller. Alright, you ready? Let's see here. Put your hands on. Put your hands on. <laughs> what do you think? So this is going to be quite an experience. He's like really small. He's just a baby. You don't want to get a big mouth. Because the airplane. He likes it. Go ahead and give him a bite. Mommy Mommy likes him. Do really softly, okay? Mommy he tastes it. Go like this. Let me show you. You go like this. You kind of go like that. Okay, and I'll then you to, kinda I catch what he spits out with your spoon. Oh. What do you think, bud? I love is that good? I love is that good? Is that good? He's like sliding in his seat, and normally he's pretty good at sitting up. He's not so sure. All right, so that is a wrap. He ate like half of his container. And yeah, the rash on his forehead, he had that before he started eating, just so everyone knows. But it's just, um, it's just because of the weather outside, but his face is so dry right now, so that is why he has that rash going on, just in case anyone asks. But we're gonna do the question of the day. So, since Kyler is eating, his first food is pear, and which is a fruit. So our question of the day is, what is your favorite fruit? So my favorite fruit is pineapple. That would be my favorite fruit, and let me see what the kids say. All right, Obs, what's your favorite fruit? Um, blueberries. Blueberries. I uh, like 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and end the video. The kids are gonna make it back, and we are gonna call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below what is your favorite fruit, y'all, right there? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Bye.